see a lot of technicians mess this part up, the power cord. 240 volt dryers, they all come like this. The ground and neutral is bonded. If you're using a four prong outlet, this has to be removed. Another mistake I see a lot when hooking up dryers is not putting any type of conduit clamp where the where the cord goes through. Red is gonna go to L1. I'm just gonna get these snug and then I'll hand tighten them down. Ground is not quite long enough. There we go. Now I can apply some good torque to these terminal screws on the block. Here I'm spraying down some soapy water as it makes it easier to slide the old washer dryer combination out of the closet. Turning off the water supply from the hot and cold side. Although I've never personally seen a washer hose bust, it does say right on the hose to replace every five years. This is definitely over five years old, so I will be replacing the washer hoses. Got my new gaskets in the new washer hoses. Please don't forget to do this. This is another mistake that I've seen a lot of people make. I've gotten comments about spraying WD-40 on the floor to make it slide better. Please don't do that. It's unnecessary and can cause a major slip hazard. If your plumbing valves are installed correctly, hot is going to be to the left, cold is going to be to the right, but please check this as that is not always the case, that's just how it should be. I didn't record it here, but when inserting the drain hose into the drain hole or pipe, they come with a clamp and I usually will secure that with a screw to the drywall. Turn the water back on, check for leaks, remove all the annoying shipping stickers, use some goof off if some of the stickers don't come off right. But thank you so much for watching. This fix is done.